welcome to this session on the biodiversity of our country. In this session, we are going to learn about the very important, interesting, known and unknown animal biodiversity of our country. Mammals are vertebrates means backboned animals that give birth and feed their young ones with mother's milk. When you think of an animal, it is likely to be a mammal. We are mammals. Cats and dogs are mammals. So are such farm animals as cattle, goats, hogs and horses. Mammals also include such fascinating animals as porcupines, gorillas, giraffes, rhinoceros and kangaroos. The common deer species found in India include the sambar, which lives in small family parties, especially in the hilly forest areas. Cheetal or spotted deer live in large herds in forest clearings where they graze on grass. They have a rust brown body with white spots, which camouflages them in the forest. The rare Hangul deer is found only in Kashmir. It has a magnificent spread of antlers with six branches on each antler. Earlier, we have seen this as a threatened species. The Indian wild ass is endemic to the little run of Kutch. Himalayan pastures support several species of wild goats and sheep, many of them restricted to the region like the goral and the Himalayan tar. A single species, the Nilgiri tar is found in the Nilgiri and Anamalai hills in South India. The rhinoceros is now restricted to Assam, but was once found throughout the Gangetic plains. The elephant is distributed in the northeastern and southern states. It is threatened by habitat loss and poaching for ivory. Though it is ferocious, most of us like to see this beautiful creation. The best known predator of our forest is the tiger. Its gold and black stripes hide it perfectly in the forest undergrowth. It preys on herbivores such as sambar or cheetal or less frequently on domestic animals. The tiger kills only three or four times a month. Its numbers have declined due to poaching for its superb skin and for the supposed magical value of its teeth, claws and whiskers. In the recent past, it has been extensively killed for the supposed medicinal properties of its bones that are used in Chinese medicine. Really, it is the king of the animals. The Asiatic lion is now found only in the Gir forests of Gujarat. The leopard is more adaptable than the tiger and lives both in thick forests and degraded forest areas. Its beautiful ring-like markings camouflages it so perfectly that its prey cannot see its stealthy approach. The common langur has a black face. The rare golden langur is golden yellow in color and lives along the banks of the Manas River in Assam. The capped langur is an uncommon species of northeast India. The rare black Nilgiri langur lives in the southern part of the western Ghats, Nilgiris and Anamalais. Now, let us look at some of the birds. There are over 1200 bird species found in India in different habitats. Most of our forest birds are specially adapted to life in certain forest types. 
there are several species of hornbills that live on fruits. They have heavy curved beaks with a projection on top. Frugivores such as parakeets, barbets and bulbils live on fruits and are often seen eating ficus fruits such as those of banyan and peepal. Birds of prey. Birds are said to be the most beautiful creation of nature. Insectivorous birds of many species live on forest insects. They include various species of fly catchers, bee eaters and others. The male paradise fly catcher is a small beautiful white bird with a black head and two long white trailing tail feathers. The female is brown and does not have the long tail feathers. There are several eagles, falcons and kites, many of which are now endangered. Grasslands support many species of birds. The most threatened species is the great Indian bustard, a large brown stately bird with long legs which struts about through grasslands looking for locusts and grasshoppers. Another rare group of threatened birds are the floricans. There are many species of quails, partridges, larks, minas and other grain eating birds that are adapted to grasslands. Aquatic birds. There are several species of aquatic birds such as waders, gulls and terns which live along the seashore and go out fishing many kilometers into the ocean. Many of these birds have lost their coastal habitats due to pollution. Freshwater birds. Aquatic birds in freshwater are those with long legs and are known as waders such as stilts and sandpipers. The other group form birds that swim on water such as several species of ducks and geese. There are many species of spectacular large birds associated with water or marshy areas. These include different species of storks, cranes, spoonbills, flamingo and the pelicans. Many aquatic species are migrants. They breed in northern Europe or Siberia and come to India in thousands during winter. India has a wide variety of lizards, snakes and turtles with a high level of endemism. The lizards include the common garden lizard, fan-throated lizard, chameleon, skink, common monitor and the water monitor. Some of these are threatened due to trade in reptile skins. Indian snakes include the rock python, Russell's viper and the wine snake. We rarely appreciate the fact that only a few species of snakes are poisonous and more snakes are harmless. The star tortoise and travancore tortoises are now rare. The olive ridley and flap shell turtle are the well known turtles of India. Many turtles are becoming increasingly rare due to poaching of adults and eggs. The crocodile is our largest reptile which is poached for its prized skin. The gharial is endemic to India and is highly threatened. Amphibia. Most of the amphibians found in India are frogs and toads. These include several species like the Indian bullfrog, tree frog, etc. These amphibians are mostly found in the hot spots in the northeast and the western ghats. It is now thought that global warming and increasing levels of UV radiation may be seriously affecting amphibian populations in some areas. 
Invertebrates include a variety of taxa that inhabit both terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Microscopic animals like protozoa and zooplankton form the basis of the food chain in aquatic habitats. Coral is formed by colonies of polyp like animals, worms, mollusks, spiders, crabs, jellyfish, octopus are a few of the better known invertebrates found in India. There are more than a million insect species on the earth that are known to science. They include grasshoppers, bugs, beetles, ants, bees, butterflies and moths. India is rich in its butterfly and moth species. Marine ecosystems are most frequently associated with fish and crustaceans like crabs and shrimp which we use as food. The other species that are endangered include the marine turtles which are reptiles and whales that are mammals. There are a large number of species of freshwater fish found in our Indian rivers and lakes that are now threatened by the introduction of fish from abroad as well as due to being introduced from one river into another. Fish are also now seriously affected by pollution. Marine fisheries are being over harvested in our coastal waters and the fish catch has decreased seriously over the last few years. Mechanized boats with giant small meshed nets are a major cause of depleting this resource. Many species of marine animals such as the whales, sharks and dolphins that live in the Indian Ocean are now threatened by extinction due to fishing in the deep sea. What we have seen today, all these organisms are so beautiful and cheerful. In every creature, we can feel the peace and satisfaction. But man, because of his greed, not need, he exploits the beauty of nature. Though we had created airplanes, rockets, electricity, magnetic waves, cell phones, etc., etc., still we depend on nature for our basic requirements, peace of mind and self-satisfaction. See you soon with more on the values of diversity. Goodbye.